Okay, my uh, first ever video, of, um, my first ever quadcopter build, the Taro Iron Man 650 frame, which I've modified quite a lot. i um, been checking out some other videos online and uh, decided to copy a few other people's ideas. Um, the first one um, didn't like the original uh, speed controller mounts that were on there. Didn't like the idea of having speed controllers there and all the horrible wires running down the arms. So I cut those off. Now running the wires down inside from the motors down inside the tubes for the arms. The SC is all on the centre deck. Made um, a middle deck there, which uh, originally it was just this one that's down here. So I've made that to raise it up to get the ESCs neatly under there, two on each side. Um, made this little beacon. Had a little bit of carbon fibre left over extended these tubes here they were very short originally so i've extended those because i don't want to see my props um, when it's flying i don't want to see the props so i'm going to have a gopro camera which i've uh, made it so i can move it right forwards which will hang down here on a tarot 2d gimbal when it arrives if it ever arrives hopefully soon um added a little another little tray there which is going to hold another little battery which will go in there that's going to power LEDs and also the gimbal as well so it'll have its own power supply and um, save a little bit of battery life from the main batteries also help any balancing because that battery being at the back there is quite heavy um, but with the gimbal right up front hopefully it should be fairly well balanced it's not too bad now actually that should be okay but I can always slide these forwards or backwards to help with the balancing I'm still waiting to arrive my NASA V2 control system um, which will go in here somewhere with a GPS up on top. I've got a carbon fibre canopy which is going to come and sit over and cover everything as well. Still waiting for that. Uh, 12 inch carbon fibre props. Motors are Multistar 690kV. Um, I've also got a few other props on order so I can play around with those, try different sizes and see see what flies best. Um, I'm going to be using my Free Sky Tyrannus radio with an X8R receiver, so that'll give me 16 channels in total, more than enough for what I need. Um, can't wait to get it going actually, still waiting for a few more bits to arrive so I can do a little bit more of the build. Um, there's probably a few more little, little modifications I'll have to make. Uh, one being the landing skids. I've noticed that a lot of people put a little bolt right through here to hold this because they're not very good, those little grub screws in there, so I'll change that. Um, I'm not going to worry about folding and unfolding this all the time. It's pretty much going to stay unfolded the whole time. It'll nicely fit in my car as it is, so that's not a problem for me. Um, that's about it, really, I think, at the moment. But it's coming on quite nicely. It's quite heavy. I've never flown anything this big before. I'm a bit of a novice at this. So it's all uh, trial and error for me. It's good fun. Good fun learning. This is um, this is what I usually fly. <laughs> Hudson X4. Great fun. A bit of practice for that. I can't wait to uh, move up to the big boy here and see how she flies. So that's it. That's my first video. I'll keep everyone posted on how it goes. I'll do another video when I've done a bit more. Um, any comments or suggestions could be useful. So don't be afraid to tell me if it's shit. Also don't be afraid to tell me if you like it. Okay, thank you.